Hey, how's it going guys? Nate here, and today we're going to be taking a look again at Fallout 4's Contraptions and vault Tech DLCs, announced at E3 by Bethesda just last night. These will be two of Fallout 4's last three DLCs, and they both focus on adding more content to the game's settlement mode. And in this video, we're going to be dissecting exactly what that word content means, as well as the release dates and make some predictions, and then discuss if either of these two DLCs were necessary or even wanted. Because at E3, this seemed to be a bit more of a controversial topic, but without further ado, let's do further. The first Fallout 4 DLC announced at E3 was titled Contraptions, and as its namesake suggests, the DLC adds a ton of tools such as timers, weights, conveyor belts, and more that'll look geared towards enticing the more creative-minded settlement builders, a category in which I certainly suffer in, as I'd probably be lucky to even have the necessary skill points to be allowed to build most of these things, much less do it efficiently. However, to those players who can build calculators and video phones in Minecraft, I'm really excited to see what the community comes up with here. It looks like it's got a lot of potential in that regard. It even seems that from the trailer that players can mass produce certain items, so it'll certainly be interesting to see what exactly the community can make of this DLC when it releases literally next week. That's right, this DLC hits next week. Now as far as pricing, we have no definitive information as of yet, but honestly I would be very surprised if it was priced anything higher than $10. The previous Workshop DLC only costed about 5 so it's likely it'll fall somewhere in that ballpark. These Workshop DLCs are typically geared towards a very specific audience of players, and I think Bethesda recognizes that, so I can't imagine this DLC being anything terribly pricey. The second DLC announced by Bethesda was known as Volt Tech and is set to release this July. This DLC contains the tools to essentially build your own vault in settlement mode, as well as what appeared to be my favorite asset and quote, run experiments on your dwellers, which speaks to all of our inner sadists, if you will. I'm not entirely sure what that means by experiments on your dwellers. Perhaps they're going to go full on with this DLC, letting us pick our own overseer. I don't know, but it looks like if done right, it could be quite a fun DLC. However, to those of you who use mods frequently on PC or even Xbox One now, this concept may, uh, may sound oddly familiar to you. That's because there's a mod that essentially allows for you to do the exact same thing as this DLC is proposing, save for the experimenting on dwellers. This mod is titled Build Your Own Vault and lets you do that in any of your settlements, letting you build from the ground up your own personal vault in a very similar fashion to the one this DLC appears to be promoting. And that right there bodes what I believe to be a very interesting question. Was Bethesda perhaps a little bit too generous with mods for their own good? Now, by no means am I criticizing Bethesda's choice to give the community so many tools and assets to build and create their own mods, and then proceed to even get to port them over to consoles. I think those were some of the most admirable decisions I've ever seen being made by a gaming company. But what I am suggesting here is that perhaps Bethesda's options for possible DLC are being limited, or at least somewhat hindered, due to the fact that the community is able to create so much with these tools. This vault -Tech DLC is an excellent example. The community Bethesda themselves created and spawned pretty much came up with an equal product to what Bethesda themselves were developing, both earlier and for free. And if they haven't already, I think Bethesda is going to learn that the only way to compete with these free mods is to create a far superior product. Meaning that these small DLCs Bethesda is doing, like the Workshop ones, like the Automatron DLC, that can all be emulated and done by modders, oftentimes as appears to be the case with the Vault mod, even earlier than Bethesda can produce them. I mean, hell, even looking back at the Wasteland Workshop DLC, which came out before Far Harbor, by the time the DLC officially went live, pretty much the entire collection of new items it added to settlement mode were already made available via mods on the PC, with the exception of a few details. Now, at that time, Bethesda did have consoles to fall back on, right? As when the DLC first launched, consoles had yet to receive mod support. But that's changed now. Bethesda is going to lose that excuse very quickly, and in the coming months, with the release of these DLCs, I think Bethesda is going to be aware that the only way they can see continued success with their DLCs is if they go bigger. More Far Harbor, Soulstein-esque DLCs that, while require more resources and time on Bethesda's part, are simply too big to be emulated or ever surpassed by modders. All of this is not to say that I think either of the two DLCs discussed in this video will at any point be proven disappointing. I'll probably spend hours making a fool of my Vault Dwellers with the Vault Tech DLC, and then one of myself with the Contraptions DLC. But overall, I'm pretty interested to see with what happens here and how modding has kind of changed the scene for Bethesda, and it's going to force them to work a little bit harder. 
Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Either way, leave a comment with your opinions on this. Do you think Bethesda should go bigger to stay ahead of modders or continue with these small DLCs that can be released a lot faster and in more bulk? I'm still a tad bit torn here, but if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, hit that subscribe button if you're new here. We're going to be covering a lot of Bethesda stuff here since E3's ended. I hope you all enjoyed and hope to see you all in my next video. Peace out everybody.